This order block strategy made me over 300% in profits, and it's going to change the way that you trade. Because once you understand it, you'll never go back. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to enter trades using order blocks. If you want to catch trades just like this and make over 300% in trading, then make sure to stick around. In order to understand this strategy, first, we have to understand what order blocks are and how to use them. A bullish order block is a down closed candle that has taken out liquidity. When price closes above the high of this down closed candle, this becomes a valid order block. You can enter around this area and when it retraces back, more often than not, it will expand away, reversing to the upside after taking out liquidity. A bearish order block is an up close candle that has taken out liquidity. When price closes below the low of this up close candle, this becomes a valid order block. A retracement back to this candle will provide you with a short opportunity. Now it's important to know what other characteristics the candle should have to be a high probability order block. This is what we're looking for. Ideally, it's a candle with a body that's larger than its wicks. These are typically the ones that work the best. If it's a candle with a small body and has large wicks, then it's typically lower probability. These should generally only be used when the market is trending clearly in one direction and we have an order block like this between the trend. We can use this to enter a trade and target the next levels to maximize our profits. Now, if you missed the original order block trade, you don't need to worry because there's still opportunities. You see, whenever the market returns to an order block, there will be a new price leg created. Inside of that price leg, all of the bearish candles should support price higher. In a bearish case, the bullish candles are going to resist price and push them lower. And these can also be considered order blocks. Another way you can use them is to wait for the market to trade to a fair value gap. Once price trades above the down close candle in a bullish setting, then you can enter as price trades into it. But pictures are worth a thousand words. So let's go over a few examples. Here we can see that price was in a downtrend until this big break of structure. Now it has potentially shifted from a bearish market to a bullish one. If we take a closer look, we can see this bearish candlestick. It has become an order block. It took out a low prior to making a higher high. Now this area has become our new support and we'll be looking to take a long position. Set your stop loss at the swing low and target your levels higher. In our second example, we can see that the market has taken out liquidity to the downside before making a move up and painting a higher high. You'll notice that a fair value gap has been created. This is our point of interest or POI because when price retraces back to it, we'll be looking for trading opportunities. So as price trades into it, we can see that the next candle trades above this down closed candle. Now previously, we considered this to be a low probability order block because of the large wicks, but because it has traded into a fair value gap, making a wick, we can still consider this a valid order block. So you want to enter long on the retracement back into the order block. Set your stop below the swing low and target the highest swing high of the local range. And that brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully this was explained well enough. Let me know in the comments below. And if you know a trader that might benefit from this video, please share it with them. Subscribe to the channel and smash that like. You can also check out some of our other free educational content on our channel and in the playlist above. Make sure to leave a comment on what video you want us to make next.